Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. All right, and, and salutations to the hopeful elect Akim preaching this truth throughout the four ends of the world. All right. I say shalom to the Mbayath Shah Dawada, the house of David. All right, the men, women, and children watching and listening to these videos. All right, as we get closer to to the uh, these uh, all right, Israel, you know, regaining um, regaining. All right, that power seat, as is prophesied in in the book of Second Edges for Esau, the so-called white man is the end of the world, and uh, Jacob is the beginning that follow it, man. You know, because the prophecies and the signs of the times that Yahweh Shai said to look out for in Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, you know, are clearly showing. All right. Well, this is your brother Karatazov back from uh, from Men of Valley, Las Vegas camp. All right, back with another lesson today. Okay, this one's going to be entitled Des Desperate Times. You know, going to call for desperate measures. All right. And, you know, the inspiration behind this uh, video is that, you know, you're starting to see in the news, mm -hmm. but, you know, just going around town. Out here in Vegas, you know, um, and it's been like this for a while now. But you know, we're starting to see that um, you know more people, you know, are being pushed, you know, to the brink of desperation. All right, because Esau society is crumbling. First of all, the the ec economy, you know, is crumbling. You just had the. Um, the news come out and say that we hit the the debt ceiling, the national debt ceiling at thirty one trillion dollars. All right, and there's going to be a, um, you know, there's going to be a domino effect where you know that we're already seeing taking place with with inflation, but it's only going to get worse. Everything is going to keep on building up, keep on building up until that final, you know, uh, you know whatever uh, event that that you know. That, that just makes all these prophecies fall, you know, start to fall and take place. So it's, it's, it's exciting, but we also, you know, as brothers in the truth, you know, and, um, you know, part of the hopeful elect that we, you know, prepare our minds. So this, this lesson is just going to go into, you know, why, you know, you're seeing those things happen. All right. A uh, brother went into a, uh, a brother Ayashatab, you know, the camp head, went out to um, went to a store and, and right before he had got there, you know, the Lord had it to where um, they had, that store got robbed. But you know, but the brother walked in like you know a couple minutes after everything went down. All right. So that was one event, and then another one. I went into a, uh, I think it was a Panera, and they had just got there. And it, it was, it's not even in a bad neighborhood, but this Panera had got gotten they they window, you know, busted in last night, and uh, attempted, and whoever did it attempted, you know, to get robbed. But you have that, you know, that's just you know local, you know, around here, and then you have that that shooting. You know, that that took place out in out in um, California this last weekend. All right, so people, you know, they they're gonna start bugging out, and then it's only gonna get worse when they don't have any food. You know, uh, when they don't get paid uh, the 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 wages that they worked for. All right, and, and especially when that access to food, you know, gets taken away, as it says, you know, in the scriptures, you know. Isaiah 33 and 6, you know, uh, infamous scripture, if, if 
you're a, a follower of the GMS doctrine, okay? Mm-hmm. If you're a follower of the truth, you know, uh, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, you know, and, and you're gonna need it, you know, if you if you think, <laughs> mm-hmm. and if you if you're striving to to endure until the end, you know, Lord willing, the the uh, the Most High and His only begotten Son, you know. How would I keep the spirit on us, you know, to endure? Okay, because many more events, you know, are are, are going to happen, you know, and, and push, all right, and exceed our very own expectations of how crazy and, and wild things can get out here when shit hits the fan. Okay, so that's something to uh, to think about. But we're gonna get into this destruction, man, because the Lord is, is you know. Articulate, <laughs> articulate, articulately. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't say that word right now, but he is, uh, you know, take, tearing this place down. All right, mm-hmm. very precisely. Okay, until that that time comes. Okay, mm-hmm. so this is a. Uh, this is gonna be Second Timothy. Chapter 3 and verse 1 says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So I believe if you get that in the NLT, it says evil times. You know, we're in the times of, of you know, of, of, you know, disaster, you know, on the brink. <laughs> World War Three is on the, on, you know, is almost at its tipping point. All right. Um. This uh, famine uh, of 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 both you know food and the word is about to get you know is almost at its tipping point. All right, all these draconian measures you know are about to start you know taking effect. All right, Esau has his and the Lord has Esau's sword <laughs> sharpened, furbished. Okay. And, you know, we're starting to see more, you know, uh, riots, rebellions in, on, uh, what was that, out in France? They got protests going on. Um, not only in France, in, in South America, too. Okay? So, I, there's a vibration of change going out in this world, all right? And when, when people don't have what they feel that they were entitled to or feel that they worked for, hey, things are going to get even crazier. Okay. This is going to be in the book of Matthews, and we're going to go to the 24th chapter. I believe it's going to be the 46th verse. All right. But see, what the elect has, the elect has the covering of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to withstand the, these evil days. See, they have that, that holy name to call upon. They have the um, grace and mercy the, of that sacrificial lamb, you know, being Yahweh Shai. And he's going to come back to redeem his people, all right, when it's most needed. So this is Matthews 24. And verse. Actually. Yeah, in verse 12. Matthews 24 and 12 it says, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay. Iniquity being, meaning, you know, sin. You know, sin's at an all-time high. See, it says that back in, in um, Second Edris. All right, well, let's actually get that. Um, yes, yeah, it's going to be Second Edris. Mm-hmm. 
15. Sorry, I got a new Bible and these pages are still stuck together. I'm going to break it in some more. Second address 15 in uh, verse 6 says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right, the the hurtful works of of the uh, of of the wicked man. So as you see, you know everybody, you know the two thirds and the rest of the people, you know, you know, in that dead state, all right, you know, enchanted by Esau's witchcraft, all right, they they, they increase sin. Well, what does it say in Revelation? The sin has reached the heaven, so that's going to call. For, for Yahweh Bashim Yahshah, you know, to put in that work. Because he, he's fed up with it. This is verse 7. It says, Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. See, because the, the two-thirds of Israel, you know, they took, uh, you know, they learned that wickedness and then... You know, now they're the front runners of, of wickedness. Our people, the, the, the 12 tribes, the people on this chart, all right? The bywords on, um, I believe that's going to be uh, the right-hand side, okay? The bywords that were given to us by these uh, by these devils and, 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 and um, you know, used to, uh, to help, uh, you know, hide our true nationality. All right, they're the ones exceeding in wickedness. All right, they're the, the front runners. All right, everybody on this chart, you know, is the makes up the the that you know, funny people community. All right, they have uh, you know, learned from Esau and then and then took his his wickedness to new heights. Because what Israel is the salt of the earth. Okay, so they do everything better. And that goes for wickedness, but but the Most High said He's not gonna suffer us to to suffer them to even exercise that those wickedness. So what does that mean? He's gonna bring that judgment, all right. And that comes with these perilous times, Jacob's trouble, all right. It says, "Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually." Right, because because the elect is fed up with it. And that's starting with the apostles, you know, and elders, you know, but but all the brothers in the truth, you know, we all sighing and crying for the abominations thereof, you know, calling Yahweh Shem Yahshai, you know, and praying to judge this earth and take it, take out, you know, take out this uh this wicked ruler. All right. So we so we could stop seeing our people so so messed up. All right, and we're calling on judgment for them too. Okay, I'm gonna drop down to the 15th verse. It says, For the or 14, second edge of 15 and 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. See, see, the, the Most High is bringing destruction to this world in one form or the other. It says, For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. All right, it's almost about to happen. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And with and swords in their hand, all right. Well, you know that's why, you know these governments is trying to uh, get you know crack down on gun laws, man. Because they disarm, you know the ones rising up against them. Which this this you know civil uprising is going to happen, all right. And there ain't no thing you could to stop it because. Once more sanctions come come down, all right, and more uh, you know laws that, that that take away the the Americans' uh, freedoms or or amendments, you know, which they feel like they have the liber liberty <laughs> or that they have the right to. Once those get taken out with this NWO, mm -hmm. hey, that's gonna cause that that uprising. It says. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and stand the course actions shall stand in their power. See, 
all that, uh, all those, you know, restrictions on guns, all the, uh, you know, people not going to have it, man. All those mandates, people ain't going to have it and they're going to be, uh, you know, tired of it. You see people getting tired of it now. So it says that man shall desire to go into the city and not be able to. All right, they're going to, that's martial law. For because of their pride and, and cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. We get here in the 19th verse. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. All right, you're going to start seeing your best friends, you know, turn against you. Families take out other families they, that they were cool with. All right, over a piece of uh, a chicken. All right, because we know that that price is going up. All right, but over a piece or uh, over a a, a, a a pork chop, you gonna <laughs> you gonna see these these wicked two thirds fight, you know, kill each other for man. That's what that's what's coming to this world. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. See, as it says in uh, you know First Thessalonians. You know, then you're going to see men travailing, man, as a woman. All right? Not knowing what to do. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity on his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and uh, and for great tribulation. See, and that great tribulation is, is what? Jacob's trouble. It's going to come in, in sudden destruction. Let's get Daniel because... Things is going to get so bad out here. There's only one thing the Lord can do. Right? What does it say? Except uh, he He save, you know. This is Daniel 12 and 1. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up. Right? The Lord is going to send his, his holy angel to, to stand up for the elect of Israel. The great prince that standeth up for the children of thy people... And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was there, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that was found written in the book. Okay, so so only the ones that were found written in the book, that's the elect, okay? But, but it, things is going to get so bad uh, uh, you know, um, Michael's gonna have to come down, you know, and um, to deliver the people, you know, to help deliver the people because we know that, that Yahweh Shai coming down with with that host of, of chariots. See, see, as it, as it says in the book of Psalms, you know, that the uh, angels, you know, look out, you know, and are encompass the elect round about, okay? But, but that's, you know, that's the, the, the tribulation. You know, that we need to prepare ourselves for. All right. That tribulation the, of, you know, the unexpected, which we know is, is going to be unexpected. It's, we expect this. All right. Because it's in the prophecies, you know, and we're watching for it. But to the extent, you know, to that time like no other as the world has been since there a, a nation has been. All right. This is going to be a time, you know, never thought of ever taking place. You know, the events that we, we can't say what events are going to go down exactly in the way that we know we have what we need to know. It's, and what? The just shall live by faith. All right. And the elect, is, we know that the elect is going to be redeemed out of it. Okay. So that's where our, our confidence and strength strength comes from, from these words. All right. The spirit of truth. Right, Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, knowing that, that he's in the midst. All right, he and that fire are with us. Okay. So Lord willing, you know, this has been edifying, you know, pre prepare for, for uh you know the times ahead. And how do you prepare? You know, cracking open that book, you know, and, and, and being diligent. All right, starting to fall, you know, uh, you know, you gotta prepare your mind. You know, for for this for this time that's that is we're entering into, all right. Meditation, fasting, and prayer, right. Trying to stay the spirit, shedding off that old man, all right, and, and continuing to grow in, in the spirit, all right, and being a watchman ultimately. So with that.
I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rechakwadash, okay? To the next one, I say Shalom, Kwame Asherala, Ba'a Ba'a Ba'a.